Hi, I'm Virginia Postrel, the author of The Fabric of Civilization, How Textiles Made the World. This video is one of a series inspired by my book. I hope you'll check them all out and, of course, read the book. Enjoy! As Christians around the world observe Good Friday, some may wonder about one of the details recorded in the crucifixion story. The Gospels of Matthew and John tell us that the Roman soldiers divided up Jesus' garments by casting lots. Christian teaching sees the act as the fulfillment of prophecy and as an example of the suffering and humiliation involved in the divine sacrifice. Jesus didn't even get to keep his clothes. From a more secular historical point of view, the soldiers' lot casting reminds us of the value of textiles in the ancient world. Those Roman soldiers were not gambling to get a religious artifact. They were interested in the cloth for its own sake. Even the most ordinary fabric was precious. Spinning and weaving a simple tunic and mantle took months of work. Jesus would not have been a fancy dresser, but his garments were nonetheless valuable, even to a pagan. Today, we can afford to take cloth for granted. But until about a hundred years ago, textiles were expensive enough to be regularly stolen, pawned, and in this case, wagered on. For more textile stories, be sure to check out my other videos. And don't forget to read The Fabric of Civilization, How Textiles Made the World.